Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to enable the Windows 10 management in your G Suite admin console. Now before go into the details on this, I just want to give you a brief introduction about what is, or in general, this is something that should be actually generic, not specific to G Suite, but in general when you talk about Windows 10 management or whatever operating system management, this is a large topic and there are many products that can do this and this is actually one of the important requirements and challenges at the same time for enterprises because when you look at users in thousands or even in hundreds then you need a way to manage those devices and those operating systems for your users there are many solutions that offer this there is the manage engine desktop central for example or the big fix for IBM now it's I think with HCL and also the well-known and the famous Microsoft System Center Operations Manager and the other family of the System Center. So all of these will offer you solutions to manage Windows devices in your network on-prem and they will offer a lot of features such as the ability to manage the patches and updates or managing the OS level settings such as registry or changing the preferences and all of that, the power settings for example and also managing and pushing the software and applications to your devices and users so you get to install all of the line of business applications for example automatically for your users and also deploy the other utilities that users need to do their work and in order to perform their tasks and also you can control the user access and limit the 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 features or limit the stuff that the user can do on the device and on the windows or operating system in general and of course there are a lot of other features that are different from one vendor or from one management platform to another but they all share the core management features such as the management of OS updates and patches and all of that when you talk about G Suite you would wonder why this is an important topic in G Suite and what is the way or what is the need to manage Windows 10 devices in G Suite? So the idea here is because many organizations will not and cannot immediately replace Windows devices with Chrome devices when they adapt G Suite, then they will be forced to employ multiple management platforms now to manage their IT infrastructure. So imagine that you are an IT administrator in a company and you have to work with, let's say, three or four platforms to manage users and manage devices and manage whatever like applications and updates and all of that. This is going to be a headache for you. And the point of using new technologies and new applications and software is to make things easier and more automated and smooth. So this is actually the point of enabling or making the Windows 10 management something available in G Suite for you so you can use and manage the Windows 10 devices. So there are a lot of cases for this when you will need or why you would need to use Windows 10 management. For example, if you cannot replace Windows 10 fast and if you also are not willing to replace Windows 10, so that's something very important for you because when you start to adapt G Suite and when users start to access the G Suite applications and services, then you will need to make sure the access is secured and no users will be able to damage the organization data and information. Now you get a lot of controls actually on G Suite itself to control the data and manage the applications and services. However, you still need to have some control on the devices that are accessing these data and, and information. This is when the devices management comes in and in devices there are features and tools to manage all aspects of the devices be those mobile devices or even desktop devices as have been recently added. Also if you're planning to adapt or deploy beyond core in your organization to make sure users can access the applications and services that you have on-prem or even hosted on other clouds remotely from anywhere as we are seeing today and currently with the COVID-19 situation people are forced to work remotely and organizations are forced to adapt to this situation. Now for the organizations who have been employing or using some sort of beyond corp scenarios or for the organizations in general who have been using the remote accessibility or making remote accessibility available to their users, 
those organizations are actually the less affected by the COVID-19 situation. And they have been working with minimal disruption to their workflows and their processes and activities. So apologies for this, maybe long introduction to this, but I just had to make sure the concept behind Windows 10 management and the base on that is well explained before talking in details about what you need and how to enable this in the G Suite Admin Console. So there are two steps or two parts into enabling this. First of all, you have to enable the feature itself from the Admin Console and then you have to deploy and enroll devices to start managing those devices. So the first step is you have to go to devices in the admin console. Then once you are in the devices page, you'll have to scroll down a little bit on the left side menu. So you can see the last section, which is called desktop settings. And you will find the setting here at the very bottom corner that is called Windows settings. So when you go there, you will find the first section in the settings page or cards, you will find the desktop security setup. And you will notice the Windows device management is set to disabled. So you'll have to click this one and you'll have to enable it and then save the setting. So you can then move to the next step, which is enrolling the devices. So you just set enabled on this option and then click save. Notice that you can do it per all use as well. So if you want to enable it for a specific organizational unit in your organization, you can do this. However, you can just do it for everyone. I would recommend and suggest that you enable it for a specific OU first, such as the IT, so you can make sure to test all of the possible settings and, uh, and behavior before deploying this and roll it out to all of the users in the organization. So once you're fine with whatever organization scope or to the whole organization, just click save, and then the setting will be enabled in your G Suite Admin Console and it will be enabled for your organization. Now, the next step is about deciding what is the enrollment process that you need to do, because there are two ways to do this. First of all, you have the option to deploy an application and manage the settings for the users who will be targeted with this using group policies and registry editor for Windows. This is a way that you can use if you're having a lot of users and a large number of devices. So you don't get to do this manually and waste more time instead of actually saving the time, which is the idea behind these automated processes and tools. The other method, which is actually doing this manually, and you can do it when you're testing. And if you have a very small amount of devices, such as maybe 10 or maybe even 15, then you can just do it manually, which might actually become a faster option instead of doing all of the setup and the deployment steps when you want to use group policy. Again, this is scenario based and whatever fits for you, you can use. You have the both options there. So once you decide if you want to enable or if you want to do the automated process, which is using the group policy, then there is a page that is very comprehensive with the information and the details. It will show you the steps and the requirements for this to be deployed in your organization network. Now keep in mind that if you want to use this whole feature, managing Windows 10 on G Suite, then the minimum requirement for the operating system itself should be Windows 10 Professional or Enterprise or any of these versions that are listed here. And this should be at least the build 18.03 as a minimum. And finally, you will need the administrative privileges on the device. So if you're having devices are joined to the domain, then you can use any domain admin member or you can create a specific user account for this. Then you can use it to deploy this. Now, I'm not talking about the disk space because this is very minimal. Actually, you're talking about uh, 100 MB and 3 MB for the credentials provider. But anyways, it's something to be considered if you're having that consideration. Then you install the provider and you just follow these steps. And this is a very comprehensive set of instructions and steps that also are going to provide scripts for you to complete the required steps and the required work for this. Once you do that, then you will be having the credentials provider deployed and set up on the devices. And users then can use their G Suite credentials to log in immediately to the device so whenever you get this deployed then users can type in their g suite username and password on the windows 10 and they'll be able to log in to the windows 10 device with those credentials 
If you want to deploy this manually, then there is another link with a set of instructions as well that you have to go, which is called enroll a device in Windows device management. Now again, there are some set of instructions and information in here. And again, it's showing you both options. If you install the, the provider using group policy or whatever method, then you don't have to follow these steps. However, if you want to do it manually, then this is the instructions for that. So again, considering the licensing requirements and the access requirements, just make sure you have administrator rights to the device and make sure the Windows that is being used is Windows at least, Windows 10 professional or enterprise, then you're fine. Then you just follow these steps from one to six and then your device will be enrolled and the user who is owning this device should be able to log in with his G Suite username and password. Now, once you finish one of these two options, either the manual enrollment or the, the installation of the credentials provider, then whenever any user logs into that device, you will actually see that device listed in the admin console under the endpoint verification, which is actually in here, which is under the endpoints. So you will see devices start to show up under this one. And whenever you click this, you will then be able to see the devices and if you require approval then you will be able to approve those devices or uh, reject them and actually that's it hopefully this is useful for you and if you have any question about any of this please don't hesitate to post in the comments section also please don't forget to like the video and subscribe until the next video please take care and thank you for viewing